If you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable way to gain your FIFA 23 Ultimate Team coins, then please head over to fifacoin.com. Link will be in the description. And don't forget to use my code Martin for a 5% discount. Hi guys, Martin88 here and welcome back to another FIFA 23 video. Special video today guys because the World Cup final is now set. We have got France and we've got Argentina. So I am doing a double upload today and I'm going to be showing you how to replicate France's tactics and Argentina's tactics with of course the great Kylian Mbappe and the GOAT Lionel Messi. This is a video for people if you're playing kickoff mode, career mode, ultimate team, whatever. If you want to get out there and you want to replicate how these teams are playing, pretend you're France, Argentina, whatever, I'm going to show you how to do that. This is all about fun, this video. So we're starting off with France in the first video. So I'm just going with the lineup that they had um, last night, of course, might be different for the final, it has differed slightly throughout the competition. But traditionally, they're in the 4-2-3-1 with the pace and trickery out wide, of course, of Kylian Mbappe and Usman Dembele. Okay, so I'm going to show you the tactics and then go into the player instructions. It's the player instructions that make it um, more realistic, I would say. So yeah, so you've got the 4-2-3-1 there. That's what you want to select, okay? And then into the custom tactics. There's not a lot to it, in my opinion, of watching France. You know, they're not hyper-aggressive. They don't really push loads of people forward. So defensive style, definitely balanced, okay? Uh, defensive width, just keep it as 50. And the depth, keep it as 50. That seems very, very plain, but for me, that's that's how that's how they are, you know. And they're they're, they're very sturdy, very predictable at the back. But then they just look for that spark, obviously, in attack. So it's no thrills or spills defensively. Balanced 50-50. That's how it is. Right now, offensive play. I've got um, build-up play balanced. Um, I know that we, we'll all be thinking about that explosiveness of Mbappe and Dembele, but I still think that the build-up play is is balanced and then when it gets to them it gets a bit more explosive and um, chance creation direct passing okay so what direct passing does is your forward players will start to make runs for you so you would think oh well i use forward runs for that it's not um direct passing is better just trust me everyone uses it um and that will make your forward players make clever runs for you which is what you want and that's what france do in my opinion Okay, this is where it starts to get a little bit more interesting. Offensive width, I've got a 60, because as far as I'm concerned, <clears throat> France have Mbappe, well, sorry, Mbappe and Dembele, and they like to stretch the pitch and push them out wide. Why do they like to stretch the pitch? Because they've got amazing pace and trickery, and I ideally what they want to do is isolate people one-on-one, -on -one. and having the offensive width um, at um, 60 will help you do that. So if you're playing with this in game, you'll be able to get the ball out to Mbappe, to Dembele, and they'll have a lot of space out on the wings. Players in the box, just five. Obviously, they have the front four, and then you see the odd foray forward um, from one of the CDMs, or maybe a fullback, but nothing too much. Corners and free kicks are both on two. Right, the instructions. This is where it starts to get a little bit more interesting. Defensively, of course, stay back while attacking. I half thought maybe it was balanced attack for Theo Hernandez. Um, what Do whatever you see fit on that, basically. Um, but yeah, stay back while attacking on the defense, not much to report. So, the two CDMs, Rabio and Tuameni. Both stay back while attacking for me, but more importantly, um, cover center. They are both instructed just to sit there and to be the anchors of the team, win that midfield battle, win the ball, and give it to the players that can win the game. Offensively, they don't get too involved, but you see, like the goal that too many scored against England, they like, probably received the ball, I don't know, 30 yards out, and that's the kind of area that um, Rabio and too many will. Um, patrol with these instructions okay they won't go any further forward than that but they'll be there for you to play the ball back to and for them to spray it out um wides to Mbappe or to Bello or try and thread balls through to Griezmann so yeah stay back while attacking cover center 
for the two CDMs. Right, Griezmann. I've actually left Griezmann totally alone because I feel like normally this position is your match winning position. Yeah, especially in a 4 2 3 1. But he's kind of there as like almost like the support role in a way for the other guys. Um, so he does a bit of everything. Um, so I've left him completely normal. Okay. Right, the wide boys. This is what you've been waiting for. So, Kylian Mbappe, defensive support, uh -uh. stay forward. Stay forward, of course, get in behind. So that means that accompanying the direct passing tactic that you'll be using, um, he's on get in behind, so he will make those runs that he does for France and look to utilize that space over the top. Of course he will. Uh, and he'll also, by staying forward, he's ready and waiting once you've won the ball, which of course is gonna be uh, fantastic. And of course, that is how France play. Um, getting to the box for crosses, I think, what group game was it? Was it Poland or Switzerland? I can't remember quite who they, um, I think it was Poland or Denmark, sorry. No, it was Denmark, right. Where Mbappe scored the two goals. Get into the box for crosses. That's exactly what we're talking about there with that tactic. If you don't know what I mean, maybe just go back on YouTube and have a look at that game. But he scored two goals where he's basically making runs into the box. One where he played one, two, the other one where the ball was crossed in and he was able to get it into the goal. On the other side, Ousmane Dembele, exactly the same. Stay forward, get in behind, get into the box of crosses, okay? Now, Giroud, this is totally different to like what I would play on Ultimate Team, but this is what I love about doing these tactics. And this is what we love about trying to replicate a real life team's tactics, basically. So 100% stay central for Giroud. He is the target man. He's the linchpin. He's the one that Bappe and Debele feed off. Can he flick it wide, left or right? Can they play a one-two with him? Can Mbappe or Dembele get to the byline, get a cross in for him? That kind of stuff, you know? So stay central and attacking runs, target man. And he will just literally stay where he's supposed to be. So yeah, there you go, guys. So that for me is how to replicate France's tactics. I um, wanted to get this video out nice and early. That's why I'm doing a double upload of the Argentina tactics. So that if you want to uh, play with your play with your mates or if you want to implement this system into ultimate team or something like that or maybe you're managing France or Argentina on career mode you can now implement it uh, for the next few days and have some fun with it so guys there we go that is it for this video please drop a like on the video uh, leave a comment subscribe if you haven't already I'm so close to 5,000 subscribers so your support would mean a lot and I'll see you a little bit later for Argentina's tactics I'll see you later guys bye bye